malware. Malware stands for malicious software, and it is actually the umbrella term for any software that's harming or exploiting your computer. Most people use the terms malware and virus interchangeably, but malware is actually the most correct term because virus is just one type of malware among many other kinds. But I don't want to blame anybody because even cybersecurity companies call their software antivirus, not anti-malware. Virus. A computer virus is a type of malware that attaches itself to legitimate files or programs and spreads when the infected file is executed. It's often requiring human action, like opening a malicious email attachment. Once clicked, it replicates by inserting its code into other files, potentially causing damage like data corruption, system slowdowns, or making a computer unusable. While some viruses are just annoying and not that dangerous, others like the I love you virus spread rapidly overwriting files of millions of users and sending itself to all contacts in the victim's device. Virus hoax. A virus hoax is a scam that spreads false warnings about non-existent viruses. While these hoaxes don't cause actual harm, they manipulate victims into thinking their computers are at risk. Tech scammers often use these hoaxes to convince people to pay for fake tech support or install malicious software, or even directly asking the victim's passwords or PIN to gain remote access. Worm. A worm is a self-replicating malware that spreads automatically across networks without needing human interaction. Unlike virus, which needs a certain file to attack, worms can simply exploit vulnerabilities in a system's software or operating system. Even it can also spread through an infected USB drive. Then after distributing and replicating themselves, not only worms can steal your data, but your connection will be a lot slower too. Ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts files on a victim's computer and demands payment in exchange for restoring access. It usually spreads through phishing emails or if you go and download something from shady websites. Once activated, it locks the user out of their files and displays a ransom note. A practical example would be a hacker targeting a hospital's IT system. Since hospitals rely on digital patient records, the attacker encrypts all files and demands a ransom, knowing the hospital is likely to pay quickly to restore access. Trojan. A Trojan is a type of malware that disguises itself as a legitimate file or program to trick users into downloading and installing it. Unlike worms, Trojans do not self-replicate. Instead, they rely on social engineering. A hacker may create a fake cracked version of a game and upload it to shady websites. Of course, gamers who love to avoid paying to play will download and install it, allowing the hacker to steal passwords, cryptocurrency wallets, or banking details. Rat. A remote access Trojan is malware that secretly gives hackers full control over an infected device. It has the same way of getting into your computer, which is downloading pirated software or games. But unlike regular Trojans whose purpose is only to steal data, a rat allows attackers to see your screen activity, access files, activate webcams or microphones, move your cursor, or even install other malware. So yeah, this malware can be very lethal when used to blackmail someone. Cryptojacker. A cryptojacker is a type of malware that hijacks a computer's processing power to mine cryptocurrency without the user knowing it. It just runs silently in the background, slowing down the system and increasing electricity usage. Suppose a hacker is injecting cryptojacking code into a website. Every time someone visits those normal-looking sites, their device unknowingly starts mining cryptocurrency for the hacker. The user might notice their fan running loudly or getting overheated despite not running any heavy program, which can definitely break your components in the end. Keylogger. A keylogger is malware that secretly records keystrokes on a victim's keyboard. This can happen when a malicious ad is placed on a popular online shopping site. When a user clicks on the ad, a keylogger gets installed without their knowledge. As the user types their login credentials, credit card, and payment information, the keylogger records everything. Logic Bomb A logic bomb is a type of malware that remains dormant in a system until triggered by a specific event or condition. It can be a specific date, user action, or even an update. Once activated, a logic bomb can disable security measures and then proceed to delete files or corrupt the data. It does not spread on its own like a worm, but is intentionally planted inside software or files, often by an insider. Let's say an IT staff member that got fired will program logic bombs to delete company data as a form of revenge. Malvertising. Malvertising is malware in the form of advertisement. An example of malvertising is fake antivirus ads. 
You visit a legitimate website, but suddenly a fake ad banner that got sneaked in by hackers pops up, giving warnings like, your PC is infected, so they told you to scan or download the antivirus. If you click it, you're taken to a malicious site that installs malicious software instead of real security software. Wiper. A wiper is a type of malware designed to permanently wipe data on hard drives or even disable entire systems. It typically spreads through phishing emails or malicious software updates. Imagine a cyber warfare attack on a bank. A hacker group might deploy a wiper disguised as a routine update. Once triggered, it erases transaction records, customer data, and corrupts backup servers. If there's no way to restore lost records, customers lose trust and the bank suffers irreversible damage. Adware. Adware is a type of malware that forces users to view unwanted pop-ups or ad banners while they are browsing the web or using software. While not as harmful compared to malvertising, it can be extremely intrusive and slow down system performance. It could be because a user downloaded a free video editing app from a shady website. Once installed, the app also installs adware that bombards the user with annoying pop-up ads while they try to work. Spyware. Spyware is malware designed to secretly monitor and collect information about a user's activities without them knowing it. The way it works is similar to remote access Trojan, but not to an extent where they can control everything. Just spying on your screen and the hacker may sell your data. RAM Scraper RAM Scraper malware targets the computer's RAM to steal sensitive information like credit card numbers or login credentials while they are temporarily stored in memory during transactions. RAM scrapers are commonly found in point-of-sale systems where they can capture payment information, usually happens due to a vulnerable connection. Rootkit A rootkit is a type of malware designed to hide its presence on a computer and can access everything. Once installed, it can also conceal other malware, such as viruses or keyloggers from antivirus software. And rootkits can be extremely difficult to remove because they often reside in the kernel, the core part of the operating system that has the highest level of control. In extreme cases, reinstalling the entire operating system is the only way to fix this. Backdoor. A backdoor is a type of malware that provides unauthorized access to a computer or network, bypassing authentication procedures like passwords without the user knowing it. Backdoor is usually installed through a Trojan virus, and this is how a hacker puts another malware in without those phishing emails, shady websites, or infected USB drives. Botnet. A botnet, often called zombies, is a network of infected computers controlled remotely by a hacker. The hacker might use a botnet to overwhelm a website with traffic by spamming thousands of emails, causing it to crash. The hacker achieves this by controlling thousands of infected computers around the world, all acting in unison, and the device owners remain unaware of the botnet attack. Fileless Malware Fileless malware is a type of malware that doesn't rely on traditional files to infect a system. Instead, it runs directly on RAM to steal your data, and it doesn't leave any trace on the hard drive, thus making traditional antivirus software struggle to detect it. This malware can come from phishing emails or exploiting system vulnerabilities, and it's also gone after the computer got rebooted. Malicious Macro A malicious macro is a harmful script embedded in documents often Microsoft Word or Excel files that runs when macros are enabled. Macros are normally used for automating tasks, but hackers exploit them by hiding malware inside. Victims usually receive these infected files through phishing invoices or official reports. Once opened and macros are enabled, it downloads additional malware like ransomware or keyloggers. By the way, I previously made an awesome video about every major operating system explained, so don't forget to watch, okay?